the poetry will always be associated with Patterson because I, I write a lot about the past and I write a lot about growing up in Patterson, but also because Patterson was a place where I learned to love poetry, where poetry was read to me in English by teachers when at home we spoke Italian. In school, I learned to love the way, the way poetry sounded when it was read out loud. I was lucky, lucky enough to have Miss Durbin at Eastside High School, who was also Allen Ginsberg's teacher. And she loved poetry, and she loved the sound of poetry. And she would always ask me to read to the class, which was amazing because I was in this alpha class with all these kids who were upper middle class, and then me. Well, Patterson has such a history of poets and writers. It really does. I, it's so amazing to me. Well, my daughter and I did a, a book of Italian-American writers from New Jersey, and we ended up having to do a whole section on Patterson because starting right from the turn of the century with the, the radical uh, leftists who wrote, uh, the anarchists who wrote, there, there was a long history of writing coming out of the city. Kindergarten, English words fell on me, thick and sharp as hail. I grew silent, the Italian word balanced on the edge of my tongue, an English word lost during the first moment of every question. It did not take me long to learn that olive-skinned people were greasy and dirty. Poor children were even dirtier. To be olive-skinned and poor was to be dirtiest of all. Almost every day, Mr. Landgraf called Joey a spaghetti bender. I knew that was bad. I tried to hide till one day, I guess I was 40 by then. I woke up cursing all those who taught me to hate my dark foreign self. And I said, here I am with my olive toned skin and my Italian parents and my old poverty real as a scar on my forehead. And all the toys we couldn't buy, all the words I didn't say, all the downcast eyes and folded hands and remarks I didn't make, rise up in me and explode onto paper like firecrackers, like meteors. And I celebrate my Italian-American self rooted in this, my country, where soon all those black, brown, red, yellow, olive-skinned people will raise their voices and sing this new anthem. <laughs> <laughs>